today we are going to do integration by partial fraction method okay now first problem integration dx upon x minus 1 into x plus 2 okay this is the problem given in integration first we have to resolve this into partial fraction okay so dx means here nothing is there means 1 it is 1 upon x minus 1 into x plus 2 is equal to a upon x minus 1 plus b upon x plus 2 no, I am naming it as equation 1. Now actually this x minus 1 and x minus x plus 2 are two factors. That's why to one factor I am taking one constant a upon x minus 1 plus for the second factor b upon x plus 2 I am taking. Next what we are going to do? We are going to take LCM. LCM will be what? This both the brackets. x minus 1 into x plus 2. Okay. Now this will be cross multiplied. a into x plus 2 and this x minus 1 will be multiplied with b. That is what I am showing. And here is equal to as it is. Here what happens? I have shown a cancellation here. This side denominator and this side denominator will go. So we are left with what? Therefore, 1 is equal to a into x plus 2 plus b into x minus 1. I am naming it as equation 2. Now what I will do? 1 by 1, I will put the values of x and get a value and b value. Okay. Now first is what? x minus 1 factor is there. I will say here, since x minus 1, I will equate it to 0. Therefore, minus 1 will go that side, it will become x is equal to 1. Then from 2, that is equation 2. Okay, here, <clears throat> 1 is equal to a into bracket. In place of x, I am going to put 1, 1 plus 2, plus b into, in place of x, 1, 1 minus 1. So, that will become here 0. So, a is, uh, 1 is equal to a into 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, a into 3 plus b into 0 is, is equivalent to what? 1 is equal to 3a. Therefore, a is what? 1 upon 3. So, that way I got a value. Now, next, first factor I have taken x minus 1. Next one is what? x plus 2 is there. I will say here, since x plus 2 is equal to 0, therefore, x is equal to minus 2 from 2. Okay. Now, again, in equation 1, that is 2 is this, na? equation 2, sorry. 1 is equal to a into, in place of x, I am going to put minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 plus b into minus 2 minus 1 in place of x. Okay. So, here 1 is equal to minus 2 plus 2, it will become 0. Minus 2 minus 1, it will become minus 3. So, 1 is equal to a into 0 is 0 only, I am not writing it. Plus b into minus 3 is what? Minus 3b. Therefore, b is what? Minus 1 upon 3. Okay. Now, this I will put from 1. That is equation number 1 I have said here. 1 upon x minus 1 into x plus 2 is equal to wherever a is there, I am putting here. a is there, I am putting a value as 1 by 3 divided by x minus 1 plus b is here minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 3 x plus 2. Now, I will apply integration on both the sides. That is what I have applied. Integration dx upon x minus 1 into x plus 2 is equal to 1 upon 3 is constant. I will take it out. Integration dx upon x minus 1. My plus into minus is minus 1 upon 3 outside integration dx upon this. So, 1 upon 3. This is nothing but x minus 1 you treat it as x. 1 upon x integration of 1 upon dx is what? Log x. So, that way it will become log of x minus 1. Minus 1 upon 3 again you treat this as x. dx upon x integration. It will become log. Instead of writing x you are going to write x plus 2 here. Whatever is there. Okay. Plus c. That is the answer. Got it? Now, next problem, we will do another second problem here. That is integration of 2x minus 1 into dx divided by x minus 1 into x minus 3. Again, there are two factors C. That's why you are getting A and B values. If three factors are there, you will get right plus C here. Okay. Now, resolve this into partial fraction. 2x minus 1 upon x minus 1 into x minus 3 is equal to A upon x minus 1 plus B upon x minus 3. That is equation number 1. Again here LCM is what? This both the brackets. This will get cross multiplied here. A into x minus 3. This x minus 1 will get cross multiplied with B. This divided by the both the brackets. And here also both the are there. This uh, denominator and this denominator will get cancelled. I have cancelled. Then you will get therefore 2x minus 1 into A into x minus 3 plus b into x minus 1, that is equation 2. Now, again, 1 by 1, will substitute the value. I will say here, since x minus 1 is equal to 0, therefore, x is equal to 1 from 2. Now, here, our LHS said 2x minus 1 is there. 2 into 1 minus 1. x value is 1, na? a into 1 minus 3 plus b into 1 minus 1. So, 2 minus 1, I will get here, what? 2 minus 1, 
then a into 1 minus 3 is minus 2 1 minus 1 is 0 b into 0 that is 1 is equal to minus 2 a will get therefore a is what minus 1 upon 2 now next since x minus 3 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 3 again from equation 2 now 2x is there in place of x 3 2 into 3 minus 1 that is 6 minus 1 a into 3 minus 3 plus b into 3 minus 1 a into 0 plus b into 2 so 6 minus 1 i'll get 5 here a into 0 is 0 2 b i'll get therefore b is what 5 upon 2 then again i'll put it in equation 1 from 1 to x minus 1 this thing i've written a value i've written minus half upon this plus 5 upon 2 that is b value then i'll apply integration on both the sides okay minus 2 1 upon 2 will come outside dx upon this 5 upon 2 is constant outside integration dx upon this minus half into log x minus 1 plus 5 by 2 into log x minus 3 plus c that is the answer okay next one more problem we'll do integration x minus 1 into dx divided by x minus 2 into x minus 3 again first step is what resolve this into partial fraction x minus 1 upon x minus 2 into x minus 3 is equal to what two factors are there a upon x minus 2 plus b upon x minus 3 x equation 1 then again you cross multiply it, lcm these both brackets are lcm this will go here and this will go here that is what i have done and this side denominator and this side denominator i have cancelled it remains what x minus 1 is equal to this numerator a into x minus 3 plus b minus a, b into x minus 2 that is equation 2 now again i'll put x is equal to 2 now since x minus 2 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 2 from 2 in second equation you put 2 minus 1 equal to a into 2 minus 3 plus b into 2 minus 2 so 1 2 minus 1 is 1 uh, 2 minus 3 is minus 1 b a into 0 it is um, 1 is equal to minus a therefore a is minus 1 now next value i'll put x minus 3 is equal to 0 since x minus 3 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 3 from equation 2 again 3 minus 1 into a into bracket 3 minus 3 plus b into 3 minus 2 wherever x is there you put 3 3 minus 1 is 2 a into 0 plus b into 1 that is i'll get 2 is equal to b therefore b is equal to 2 again in 1 i'll put a value is minus 1 b value is 2 i have put it here and again i'll apply integration on both the sides so minus is constant again minus log of x minus 2 2 is constant here log of x minus 3 plus c. so this is the answer okay